How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former good fella currently freezing his ass off in Canada. Back in the old life, I never saw snow. And I don't mean drugs. I delegated that to Big Blow Bellucci. I'm talking real snow. Jimmy complained about the cold. I want you guys to make it summer around here. Thought it was calling for a huge snowstorm. Not that I'm complaining. It worked. From now on, it's gonna be summer all the time. Except Christmas. I like a white Christmas, but warm. Capiche? I love New York in November. Hey, look, dolphin! <laughs> Palm trees in New York? If global warming means the end of the world, so be it. Hey, Rocco, that counts as a break. Now I live in Regina, where global warming ain't hit yet. It snows all the freaking time here. I mean, it never stops. Don't worry, Jimmy. I got your back. Cheech, what the hell you doing? There's too many snowflakes. I can't get them all. Tell them I went down fighting. If you think I can even remember what summer feels like, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. You two-timing son of a bitch! What's her name? I don't know what you're talking about! Right! <coughs> hey! Oh, you have been working out? Oh. Uh. Say hello to the devil when you meet him, you two-timing greaseball! <gasps> I just took the last soda! What? Ah. Jimmy, Cookie, for God's sake, the entire neighborhood can hear this hullabaloo. Jimmy's cheating on me, McCool. Let me shoot him. Cookie, I surveilled Jimmy regularly, and I can assure you he's doing nothing of the sort. Though he did glance at a copy of Jug Lover's Quarterly at the gas station. Shame, shame. The feds won't forward my subscription. Don't you see? Cookie's busy with the kids, you're busy with your job. When's the last time you two spent some quality time together? Does drunk angry sex at 3 a.m. count as quality? It barely even counts as sex. Heed my words, quality time is the key to a happy marriage. This, from a bachelor whose best friend is a fucking horse. Cook, why would you think I'm cheating on you? Because you snuck out last night. I would have chased you, but the ambient was kicking in. I swear on the soul of my mother, that wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Wanna grill the kids? I'll get the waterboard. No, we gotta catch them in the act. Like when Gina stole money from my wallet. She won't be doing that again. Look at you slaving away! How much is Dad paying you for this? Five bucks. Five bucks? You're getting screwed by the man. He's inside, nice and warm, and you're out here freezing your ass off for no money like a sucker. I like helping out. You're getting exploited. And so are all these other kids. <laughs> Sounds like you're developing a social conscience, Gina. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I'll tell ya, if anyone's doing any exploiting around here, it's me. So it's Cheech sneaking around. Sorry I punched you in the face, Jimmy. I don't remember that. You were sleeping. That explains the loose tooth. Look at Cheech's clothes. In the old days, he only ever dressed up to pull a job. That knucklehead's gonna get us all in trouble. We better follow him. How are we supposed to do that if he's got the car? I know we're probably following Cheech on some depraved crime spree, but this is fun! This is what McCool was talking about. I got a bicycle seat up my ass. How exactly is this fun? Why didn't you just take Petey's bike? I thought this was Petey's bike. It's worse than we thought. Cheech is going into a crack den. Nah, nobody dresses up for a crack den. It's probably just a whorehouse. 
We gotta get Cheech out of there before he gets pinched. Let's do this nice and quiet. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it loud and mean. Yeah! Jimmy, what are you doing here? Me? What about you? You sneaking around for a dance class? Why didn't you just tell me? No offense, Jimmy, but I got a life outside of you, you know. This looks like fun. Jimmy, maybe ballroom dancing is just what we need to spend some quality time together. Why not? Beach riding bikes. May I have this dance? No, no, no. You cannot dance together. Your bodies are, how you say, incompatible. You are built like pickle barrel, and you are bag of oatmeal. Hey, you more suited to Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, someone's a smooth talker. <laughs> you, what is name? Name is Jimmy. I, Svetenka. Now dance me. Dance me long and hard. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. So, Gina, what is this union of yours gonna do for us? Suppose you hurt yourself shoveling, huh? Who looks after you? If your shovel breaks, who buys you a new one? Our parents? They're the ones who sent you out in minus 20 weather in the first place. Them grown-ups are playing you for stooges. Yeah! I shoveled Mrs. Wilson's place, and she didn't pay. Sign up with the Brotherhood of Snow Shoveling Youth, and she'll definitely pay. They'll all pay. Who's with me? Union! 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 Jackets are mandatory for members. 50 bucks a pop. What? 50 bucks? Gina, are you serious about organized labor, or is this just a cash grab? Don't worry, Petey. The jacket money comes out of wages. You won't even notice. And if I hear any more of that scab talk, I'll cut your fucking eyes out. That was freaking amazing! It was like I was on that show, dancing with the people who used to be stars. With Juan Carlos, I was dancing on a cloud of tacos and vending machine cologne. McCool was right about us spending time together. Except we didn't really spend any time together, because our bodies are... How you say incompatible? Ah, she don't know what she's talking about. I'll prove it to you. Oh! Jesus, when's the last time we danced? Sorry. No problem. Let me think. Was it at a wedding? Ow! Oops. Nah, I got nabbed for that diamond ring robbery before our first dance, remember? What? Oh. My bad. Did you guys get electrocuted or something? Maybe oh. ballroom dancing ain't our thing. Well, if we can't dance together, there's no point doing it at all. I agree. Ballroom dancing is out. Good call. You look like a couple of seagulls fighting over a french fry. Jimmy. Ah! I need you ride me, Jimmy. Ride me right now. Svetanka, no. I'm married. Ride me to dance studio. I am late. Oh, you mean drive you. Sure. You know, every time you talk, it sounds like a come on. It's Fetenka's accent. You know, Jimmy, dancing with you last night made me so wet. Okay, you really should stop talking now. What? You are a sweaty man. Come in for one dance. I don't think my wife would like that. You know you want to. We keep forbidden dance a secret. Come, Jimmy. Again with the sexy talk. Jimmy? Care to tell me what you're doing here? You're sneaking around behind my back, ain't ya? What are you flipping out for? I just came in for a quickie with Svetanka. Dance! Quickie dance! I thought we agreed ballroom dancing wasn't for us. Says the broad who's standing in a dance studio. I had to double cheech down here on Petey's bike. I popped in to use the washroom. You know what? Juan Carlos asked me to be his partner for the Golden Bollies. Well, you ain't touching no one else's Golden Bollies. It's a dance contest, you moron. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm going to enter, too. I just need to find me a dance partner. That's right. I'm going to win them Golden Balls with Swatanka here. Oh, Jimmy, it is so on. It couldn't be honor. Jimmy, can I get a ride home? Cookie broke Petey's bike. Where do you think?
think you're going? I got rehearsal. These tap shoes ain't gonna tap themselves. Well, I got rehearsal too, mister. Who's gonna stay home and watch Gina? Gina? She ain't even home. I ain't seen her in days. In that case, dibs on the car! I got no time for this. I gotta pick up sequins for my fancy pants. Wait, I just heard that. Catch you later, sucker! You come back here. Oh, oh man. All this dancing is really <sighs> whip me into shape. How you doing? I'm Gina, business agent for Bossy Local One. My comrade here says he performed snow-related labor for you, and you didn't pay. What gifts? I didn't know he was doing it. Didn't know? What, are you blind? Legally, yes. Can you see good enough to fish a freaking 50 out of your purse? I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> yeah, yeah, things are tough all over. Now make with the money. In my day, we didn't... Well, your day's done, Stegosaurus. <whistles> Give it a snow job, boys. You want it cleared? That's another 50 bucks. <laughs> Ow! Ouch! I don't know how those ice dancers sew these sequins on. By using a double top stitch. How many times I gotta tell you? I can't focus. Cookie's so competitive about this dance contest, she's driving me crazy! You want me to pull a Tonya Harding, take out a knee? Say the word, she'll never walk again. That's my wife you're talking about! Besides, I'm way ahead of you. I slashed the tires so she can't get to rehearsal. Isn't that your car, Jimmy? Yeah, but it's also her car. That's why you're the boss, Jimmy. Always thinking. Now give me some change for the bus. Uh, I entered this contest to stick it to your father, but he's really giving me a run for my money. You really want to win? You're gonna need an edge. Oh, Teresa Maria Falcone. This is just lewd, crass, and totally hot. Nice work. <laughs> this shouldn't bother me, because I grew up around Italians. But your dance partner is really greasy. He drinks olive oil. Says it keeps him young. He's actually 72. <laughs> oh, I ain't paying you jagoffs to stand around gawking. Get back to work. Gina, I've been elected shop steward, and as such must tell you, the bossy membership feels they're not getting a fair shake. That's crazy. I'm paying five bucks a house. It's market rate. But you're charging our customers 50. What happens to the other 45? I think them fancy jackets pay for themselves. Teresa bought them, and you still haven't paid her back. I got a, a health and retirement plan to pay for. Them things don't come cheap. You know what else don't come cheap? Us. On behalf of the members of Bossy Local One, I hereby declare a strike. Yay! Just as soon as Brother Oliver has his potty break. Whoa, look at the balls on this room. I suddenly feel inadequate. I, I feel nervous. You nervous, Juan Carlos? <laughs> Do you even speak English? <laughs> hey, Cook, geez, you look great. Just like one of them old-timey prostitutes. Aw, oh, Jimmy, thanks. Look at you. That costume makes me want to say, Olay. Jimmy, why you talk to old whore? <clears throat> oh, sorry, old whore is kooky. Eh, don't listen to her. I just wanted to wish you luck in the contest. And sorry I saw the heels off your dancing shoes. Thanks, babe. And I'm sorry I put horse laxative in your dinner. When'd you do that? <laughs> I gotta go! Jimmy. Way to go, Cheech! Wait, what did he say? Yimmy! We won second place! Uh, hey! Get your Chernobyl licking tongue out of my husband's mouth! Is that what I think it is? It's these pants! They make me look huge! And like I'm pointing up!
Listen, Slotanka, you boinking my husband? Da. Oh, da means yes. What's the Ruski word for no? Nyet. That's it. I haven't boinked her. Nyet. You haven't boinked her yet? <laughs> well, have fun with your Russian floozy, you pig. What's wrong with you? You're gonna get me killed. Oh, you die for me. So romantic. No, I die because of you. You and I got no future, you understand? Forget future. Taste present. Ah. Yeah. Present tastes like vodka and lip gloss. Look, get it through your skull. I ain't interested. Svetenka, no believe you. All right, then, I'm gay. Ooh, it's hot. I bring man to bedroom for Yimmy. How about Juan Carlos? <laughs> I watch. Yeah, my answer to that is... <laughs> Would you guys just get out of here? I don't need this crap. We are not leaving until our demands are met. Fine, let's just settle this thing. You're willing to negotiate? Wow, I thought you'd just hire a bunch of scabs from the hobo jungle. Yeah, I tried that. Didn't turn out so good. It's cold. You want to have sex? So, there it is. I accounted for every day right down to the minute. You tell me, when could I have possibly slept with Svetanka? I know what I saw, Yimmy. Okay, fine. You got me. I've been riding it like a freaking tilt a whirl. I knew it! Wait a second. You'd never admit to something like that unless you're lying. And if you're lying, it means you didn't do it. Aw, oh, come here, you big lug. It's official. I will never understand women. <laughs> I vant you, Saint Svetanka Gabadana Velianovich. Who was that? <gasps> Is that for me, you big sweetheart? Let's do that right now. Bring the bear. <laughs> What are you doing out there, you wacko? No more wait. It's time for sexy. <laughs> I told you before, I don't fool around on my wife, ever. Maybe this changed your mind. Oh! Swatanka, for the last time, get out of here! <laughs> and take your two perky friends with you. If Cookie finds out this broad stalk in me, she's gonna go ballistic! She'll kill Svetanka, I'll be next, and a couple of the kids might get clipped in the crossfire. It'll be a bloodbath! But surely she won't blame you. You're an innocent victim here. Clearly you've never been married. And don't call me a victim. It makes me sound like a candy ass. Jimmy, don't you see? You're keeping a secret from your wife. That's just as bad as cheating. Again, clearly, you've never been married. Cookie's your partner for life. Are you gonna start with that quality time crap again? Cause that's what got me into this shit show. I know this is highly implausible considering your background, but I think you should tell the truth. You think? All right. Today's as good a day to die as any. But just to be safe, I'll take Svetanka into protective custody in the morning. For Canada! where most men would pay to be stalked by hot Russian girls. Where you been? Seeing McCool. Don't worry, he'll corroborate. Look, you and me gotta talk. What's up? You know Swatanka? Yeah? What about her? She's been stalking me. Here we go. Oh boy, thanks for the crappy advice, McCool. Well, I can't say I blame her. You're not mad? Oh, I'm gonna slice her up later. But I ain't mad at you. You didn't do nothing. What was that? Whoa, this is just like that movie where the crazy stalker broad cooks the rabbit. Oh, God. You, you think she's in the house? Hell, I bet she's right behind us. Yeah. What? I'm making beans. Oh. Don't you budge on anything? Hey, 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 I gave you a 2% wage increase over 10 years, didn't I? What's 
taking so long? Those kids are still on the picket line. Mary's got frostbite, all of us crying for his blankie, and I don't even know why I'm still there. You know what? Running a union is too much hassle. I'm out! Oh, no, you're not. You have a responsibility to those kids. Don't make me sick the labor board on you. Grow up, Petey. I already paid him off. Speaking of which... What's this? You and Teresa's cut of the money I made off the scam. Count me in! Um, I don't know. I don't think I can... And I just sold out. Hey, Petey broke his cherry! Is Fetenka can't have Yimmy? No one can. I never understood that about stalkers. You love the guy, so why kill him? It's stupid. So, I kill you first? Did I say stupid? Let me rephrase that. Svetanka, you're never gonna have me, so you might as well just kill us. <gasps> but before you do, can I have one last dance with my wife? Da, one more time you flop around like puppets, then I shoot you. Like circus bear box and kangaroo. <laughs> now that's what I call dancing. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, I got my moments. Yeah! Jimmy, look out! Gina, good job. Beat! Why'd you hit Cheech? Yeah, I was on a roll. Pop, you get the quick climb. I'll chop her up. See, isn't this nice? We're doing stuff together. It's quality time, just like McCool said. Good news, Jimmy. Svetanka's visa has expired. We can deport. Oh, God, is she dead? Nah, but give us five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. You know me as Petey McDougal, Canadian nerd. You also know me as Petey Falcone, New York dork. Like other misfits of my ilk, I never really felt like I fit in. Hello. Congratulations. This was especially apparent in our old life among the family. Yo, Petey, try this lasagna. It's like angels singing in your mouth. No thanks, I'm lactose intolerant, and pasta's not good for my gluten sensitivity. You know what makes me sensitive? Jagoffs with no manners. Eat the fucking food, you mook. <laughs> Hey, kid! Have some wine! I won't tell you folks. Actually, it was their idea. You need to loosen up. Cheech, I've seen what alcohol does to people, namely you. And it won't work. We have to live a little, kid. <laughs> what are you doing? The bride gave birth to a boy this morning. We're celebrating! Smoke up, kid. It's bad luck if you don't. Really? Hell if I know. <laughs> I was gonna steal that, dumbass! Now that we're in Canada, I finally feel like I fit in. And I'm sure in time, the rest of my family will learn to love it here as much as I do. Forget about it! Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all went him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds will say they heard that they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Ah, keep jerking it, Jetsy. Oh, almost there. Mm. That's it. Yeah, that's good. Mm. 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 Relax, Cookie. It's not what you think. I'm sure there's a logical... Slide it in and out. Slowly. Okay. You went to a Catholic school. This kind of thing happens all the time. And... Oh, God, listen to yourself. <laughs> you pricked me. Spit that out. You do not want to swallow it. Jesus Christ on a bike! Ta-da! What do you think? Cheech, we're trying to keep a low profile here, so you go and swipe a boat? Swipe? Give me some credit. I got it at the police auction. Let's start the bidding at 500. Who'll give me five? So! <laughs> it was a steal, Jimmy. 
Except I paid for it. We live on the prairies. What are we gonna sail on? Seas of wheat? There's a lake near here. We'll go fishing like the old days. Except without the dead wise guys clogging up the water. Cheech, I'm married. I can't just take off whenever I want. I was married. I took off all the time. And how'd that work out for you? I'm gonna die alone. I gotta clear this kind of stuff with Cookie. I gotta drop reminders, sweet talker, negotiate terms. Peace in the Middle East to take less diplomacy. Hey, Cook, we're going fishing. Great idea! Absolutely, go fishing! Get out of here! Far away from Petey! Huh? Never mind, just go. <sighs> oh, no, wait! There is something we need to talk about. Love you, Ben! So, I think your brother might be gay. And if he is, I want to make sure neither of you gives him a hard time about it. What do you take us for? He's a brother! I know we bust his balls, but we got his back. Apparently, so does Jetsy. <laughs> Teresa, what did I say? Ma, I'm just playing. Well, stop! I'm having a hard time with this. Get over it. You want to wind up like Mrs. Scavuzzo? She rejected her boy because he was gay. Died alone. Cats ate a face. You want that, Ma? You want a cat eating your face? Because I know a guy. But I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> you can act like a mom! And never buy a cat. You're right. I can do this. I'm going to be the best damn mother of a gay you ever saw. You know he's not, right? Oh, God, of course. He's not cool enough to be gay. If he was, at least he'd have a personality. <laughs> this is fun. What, are we bonding now? Shut up! I tell you, Cheech, you can't beat the peace and quiet of a fishing trip. Uh, you want some of this? Who's a big fish now? Say hi to your mother for me. Big leg, fish dick. I got your catch and release right here, you fucking mutt. You broke my heart, you scaly prick! I'm out. Me too. So relaxing. Now them fishes are sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> <laughs> Young Petey is a homosexual. Splendid. I'm glad you called me, Cookie. Good. Because I don't know how to tell him he has my support. Can you help me out? I can do better than help you, Cookie. I can refer you to a qualified colleague. And no, I'm not deflecting your request because it makes me uncomfortable. Here in Canada, we pride ourselves on our pride. By the by, how's Jimmy taking this? Oh, God. Jimmy doesn't know anything yet. He's gone fishing with Cheech. Fishing? I got no idea what Jimmy will do when he finds out. Did he mention being angry with me? Because I've told him I'm an avid fisherman. But he loves Petey, so who knows? I'm sorry, what? Just checking for texts from Jimmy. No, nothing here. Do you think it would be weird if I just showed up? Showed up where? At the fishing trip. I thought we were talking about Petey. Oh, right, I'll get my colleague to come see you. For Canada! Where friends are supposed to tell friends about fishing trips. <laughs> Don't move. Who? Don't move, I said. What the hell? Look at me. Look at me. I am the captain now. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't look at you. You look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me! Look at me! Don't look at me! Look at him! Look at me! Look at me! Don't say look at me, just look at me! Look at me! Look at you, being all, look at me! Look at me! Hey, look at me! Oh. Enough! I am Giddy. This is Johnny. We own this boat now, understand? Hey, I own this boat, pal. You want it? Make me an offer. I'll shoot your fat friend and dump him over the side. Hey, Jimmy, quiet. I'm negotiating here. All right, say you shoot Fatso. What's in it for me? So, are you sure this isn't going to be too intense for you? Maybe, but it's something I need to do. Well, why don't we just ease into it then? Take it nice and slow. Uh, what's going on with the hand down there? Uh, foreplay? 
Isn't this what you wanted? No! I need advice about helping my son come out of the closet. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I thought this was a booty call. McCool kept talking about... I think he said fishing. He's all upset my husband went without him. Oh, it was hard to understand McCool. He was so distraught. Oh, this is embarrassing. Don't worry about it. And a little disappointing. Oh, why? Well, you're gorgeous. Oh, stop. So, about your son... Gorgeous? How? Just curious. But, uh, what would you do to a gal like me? Give me a, for instance. Whoa, that is something. So, where do these scissors I keep hearing about come into it? <gasps> you guys are not going to believe this. But I think Mom might be gay. <laughs> and the hits just keep coming. Petey, this is huge. Who'd have thought Ma was a Lebanese? Can you imagine what it must have been like for her in the old neighborhood? Carrying the desire that dare not speak its name? Yeah, they weren't big on that back home. And they hated people who said stuff like, dare not speak its name. So what are we gonna do? Give her the love and acceptance she deserves. Duh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but uh, don't come right out and tell her we know. I mean, she might not be ready for that. Good idea. I'm gonna show her I'm behind her 100%. <laughs> This much fun since I switched your birth control pills with breast mints. <laughs> That's why I've been so minty down there. Why is there nothing on this boat but beer and grappa? Cause Jimmy says cocaine and boating don't mix. This is pointless. We need money for a jolly pirate crew. You guys ain't too jolly. Jolly pirates? We did it to survive a brutal civil war. We fled to Canada for a better life. But now, we are being deported. We need money for an immigration lawyer fast. Problem is, your crew's too small. You need a few more hands on deck. Please! Where could I possibly find experienced hijackers in Regina Beach? You thinking what I'm thinking? Honestly, I don't even know if I'm thinking what I'm thinking. You ever hear voices, Jimmy? <laughs> Ma, there's a secret living in this house. An elephant in the room, if you will. I know, Petey. A big, gay elephant. <laughs> that elephant needs to know they're loved and supported. I couldn't agree more. What about Papa Elephant? We'll tell Papa Elephant when the gay elephant is good and ready. And when the time comes, that elephant is not going to be alone. No, that elephant isn't. <laughs> I'm glad we cleared this up. It's good to get things out in the open. It sure is. I feel sorry for families that don't know how to communicate. <sighs> Ahoy there, Cappy! Alas, you landlubbers! What are you doing? This is not some dress-up game. Ah, come on. Who doesn't want to be a pirate? You boys need our help, and you know it. <sighs> Fine. We're desperate, and you Canadians are very helpful. By the way, Real pirates don't dress like that. But I already cut off my hands. What'd you do that for? A pirate's gotta have a hook. Quickly, where is the hat now? We must put it on ice immediately. Here it is. Mm. All right, all hands on deck. Oh, sorry, Cheech. I've come to terms with my choice. Uh, Mom? Yes, Petey? There's this pride rally downtown this afternoon, and... It'd be an honor to be beside my boy. Now that the elephant's out of the closet, let's parade it through the streets. Gay. And the little Dutch boy wasn't poking his finger in your dyke. What the hell were you doing? 
I told you, it was nothing. That was not nothing, young man. Spit it out. Ugh, fine. But I think it'd be easier if I showed you. If he comes back in a dress, I'm gonna sh The Elven Spellcaster, a seventh level mage! I don't understand a word you just said. I'm a LARPer. What is that, Swedish for loser? No, it's live action role playing, LARP. We dress up in costumes. Oh, it's, it's like when you dress up as a French maid or put on a leather gimp suit, right? No, that's good wholesome fun. I got no freaking idea what this is. Oh. <sighs> Problem is, you've been picking the wrong targets, Getty. What you want is an RV. Them things are packed with a king's ransom match, right? What about your uncle's hand? We need to go to a hospital. Ah, that'll be fine. He's had so many beers, he can't feel nothing. Ah, that's better. There's a galleon on the port bow. Or is it stopping? Which one's left? I used to know this. Get pirate insurance, I said. You never know, I said. But would you listen? I'm going to watch TV. And I don't care if it drains the battery. Ah, prepare to be boarded, you scurvy dogs. Place the mizzen what sits on the wibble wobble. Oh, where'd he get those? It's standard now on all American-made RVs. God bless the NRA. Dave, the pirates are here. I still don't get it. Is LARP a sport? Not exactly. Do you win prizes? No, we get experience points. Then we use those to level up and... Shut up! I stopped listening after no. None of this makes sense. Patience. All will be revealed. Roar! A minotaur! Back, foul creature! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Fireball! Fireball! Ow! Watch it! That was really close to my eye! Roar! Backstab! Double damage! And confetti death blow! So, Ma, what'd you think? I think I'm gonna confetti death blow my f***ing brains out. That was the most mortifying thing I've ever seen. Why can't you pick up a nice drug habit like a normal kid? What happened to supporting me no matter what? That was when you were gay, not when you were a fairy. I'm an elf. I wish I was a fairy. That's a whole other level. You need to learn sixth level enchantments and... Enough! This is just unnatural. Well, this is who I am. No, it's not. You're choosing to be this way. All you need to do is, I don't know, meet the right girl. Oh, this is all my fault. I should have pushed him into sports. Oh. It gets better, Petey. Trust me, it does not get better. One more score like this and you'll have immigration lawyers coming out your ass! Damn, it's fun being a pirate! It's not meant to be fun. We do it for survival! What about pillaging? That part's fun, right? So are Vikings! <gasps> we should be those next! So what do we do with this scallywag? <gasps> Make him walk the plank! <laughs> uh. Ooh. Oh. Petey, open up. Go away. Okay, he's in there. Get him! <laughs> Cast out the foul demon, father. The power of Christ compels you. Ah, lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! See, father? What did I tell you? He's all wrapped up in the occult. I'm not possessed. I'm a LARPer. That's not a sin. But it's an abomination, isn't it? Tell him, father. Oh, heavens, not at all. It's not as though he's gay. Get out of here, you intolerant jagoff! 
I'm still not having this under my roof. Tell your friend to leave. Chetsy's my apprentice, and he's staying. I said scram, Dutchie! <laughs> Chetsy, wait! I don't care what she says, we're a team! <laughs> freeze spell! Freeze spell! Wall of stopping! What is wrong with you? We're not hurting anybody. I can't accept this. A grown boy pretending and make-believing? It's too weird. Too weird? In a family that used to pretend everything was normal while our father was out running a crime syndicate? A family, Italian, mind you, that now lives as Scottish Canadians under an assumed name? Face it, Mom. Our whole life is one big LARP. Double glitter truth bomb. Just stop it, you freak. Hey, that priest dropped his holy water. Ow! It burns! It burns! Oh, oh, oh. Come on. <laughs> Jimmy, stop! The joke's over! <laughs> Take that, you salty dog! <laughs> Ow! Enough! You two are crazy and dangerous! Of course we are! We're pirates, for Christ's sake! No, you're not! You're idiots! Consider yourselves fired! <laughs> we just got Jolly Roger! You know, Jimmy, I don't even think them guys was real pirates. <laughs> hey, McCool! Ooh. Casey and Finnegan! What happened to Cheech's hand? Best an accident? <laughs> but we got it on ice. I knew you shouldn't have gone fishing without me. Hop on, gentlemen, for Canada, where universal health care even covers stupidity. just feels stupid now. Maybe Mom's right. We're just a bunch of losers in bathrobes tossing paper balls at each other. Whoa, who is that? Red hair and purple robes? Where have I seen that color scheme before? Thunderfist! Eardrum shatter, dazzle puff, berserker thumb, allergy spell. Feel the wrath of Flindor McDougal. <clears throat> Go ahead, do it, Mom. Did you say Mom? No wonder people think we're losers. Oh. <laughs> Thunderpurse! Thunderpurse! Sanitary napkin! Electric shoe? <laughs> mom! I'm not mom. I'm Cookie the Concubine. <laughs> you mean conqueror. I just picked a word, Petey. <laughs> what the heck is a thunderpurse? I don't know, but it just saved your life, you little prick. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. That was great. I thought about what you said, and you were right. But for God's sake, don't let your father know about this. He's not gonna like the idea of his son dressing up in costumes. Avastar, it's a sea gremlin. Get him, Jimmy. Come here. <laughs> Dad, stop! That's my friend. You're next, help. Oh God! Thank you for knowing what I was. Aye, there be the booty I've been craving. <laughs> Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh. Oh. Thunderpurse, bitch! How you doing? There's two words that strike terror in the heart of any wise guy. They represent the end of freedom and the start of a life sentence. I'm pregnant! My life was over. You can be a good father or you can be a good fella, but you can't be both. Still, I wanted it all, so I made it work. <laughs> All right, folks, hit the floor and keep the crying to a minimum. 
Anyone moves, you let me know. Remember that? The FBI does. I spent two years on the most wanted list for that one. Anyway, after that, I decided to keep work and kids separate. After I showed you how it's done. No, because jobs come and go, but families forever. Yeah, like herpes. Ah, uh, herpes ain't forever. Forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and the capo with the gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. Oh, forget about it. Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, Jimmy. Oh, Cookie. Oh, God! Would you guys shut up? Just think of other people and finish already. Go back to sleep, Teresa! How can I with the golden age of porn knocking down my wall? We better be real quiet. <laughs> Mm. Yo. Oh, oh. Uh. You sound like a walrus and a seal fighting over a fish. Keep it down, Sea World. Let's go find somewhere more private. Where's my robe? I just came to say good night. Oh. I'm still turned on. Kato oh. Records. That's a harvest moon if ever I saw one. For Christ's sake, McCool, what do you want? Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt this nostalgic reenactment of prom night, Jimmy. I'll come back. Ah, oh, forget it, McCool. The moment's passed. What do you need? For starters, Cookie, I can't help but notice your airbags are deployed. Here, take my jacket. A colleague of mine is going away on assignment, and her house sitter backed out at the last minute. Thank God you came to us. Really? No, you jackass. Who cares about your friend? I'll do it. I can't get any sleep with the walking dead here moaning all night. Yes, I got an eyeful of that outside and subsequently won't eat for a week, but I think this is a job for your brother. That is so unfair. Just because Petey's a boy, you think he's more compliment than me. The word is competent. Oh, so now I'm stupid because I'm a girl? Certainly not. I would never discriminate on the basis of gender. And even though I didn't, I will offer you the job. Just to be safe. That's the Canadian way! Yes! For Canada! <laughs> where Equal Opportunity just got a girl an unpaid internship! Fifty bucks says she burns the joint down in an hour. Give me forty, I'll do it right now. Teresa, you have three priorities whilst house-sitting for my colleague. Money up front, no kissing, back doors extra? I'm sorry, what? Nothing. You must keep the house spotless and feed the dogs regularly. <laughs> They're like friends who never judge. And then there's Siegfried. Who's Siegfried? Siegfried is a dwarf alligator, my friend's pride and joy. <laughs> Beware, he likes to bite. How am I supposed to pick it up? Very carefully. <laughs> That gator is the coolest thing i ever seen. I'm staying here, too. As am I. As am I? No wonder bullies tape your ass shut. I don't know if everyone staying over is a good idea. It's a great idea, Cook. We'll get everybody out of the house. Besides, Teresa can totally take care of that creepy lizard. This creepy lizard can take care of himself. Now, who wants to cook me dinner? You hear that silence? It's glorious. No kids hounding us. Let's take advantage of this peace and quiet while we can. Yeah, why hop in the sack right away? We got all night. Yeah, we're empty nesters. I'm gonna go take a long, hot bubble bath. Good idea, babe. I'm gonna catch up on my re...
Condoms, big boy? Yeah, yeah, right here. I even got the glow in the dark ones. Are you nuts? We need those. I want you right now, Jimmy. And you don't gotta worry about being premature, because I don't mind. Really? I can just wait a sec. I know what this is. You want another baby! What? Don't be silly. A baby? That's bananas. I just want to make a baby with my husband. I mean, make love to a baby. I mean, make a love baby. I... <sighs> Fine. If you don't want to, maybe it's for the breasts. I mean, breast milk. I mean, oh, forget it. You want to have another baby? Are you nuts? We got four kids already. We got three. I'm counting Cheech. Come on. Having a kid now would be like shanking a guy in the shower two days before parole. Boom! Another 20-year stretch. I'm putting my foot down. Both foots. No more kids. Okay, fine. The man has spoken. I guess I'll just polish this little spot here on the coffee table. Oh, it's so dirty, Jimmy. Uh, uh. Ow! My neck! Sit down. I'll give you a massage. All right, but no trying to seduce me, Kabish. I know what you were doing there with the magic swirling ass. Oh, that feels good. Oh, yeah. Your hands are so soft. Hey, that's not fair. Cut it out. Look at this mess. You're really living up the people's low expectations here. Way I see it, before we leave, we make Petey clean everything up. And people call you that dumb one. Let's make some work for him. <laughs> hey, that looks like fun. <laughs> I just took Ziggy for a three-hour walk to the end of the driveway. Alligators are kind of boring. He don't look too good. Anybody feed him? I filled his bowl with tofu. Tofu? He's a connoisseur. He needs meat. Here you go, little fella. Ha! You're gonna have to move faster than that, ugly. You probably shouldn't do that. Nah, he loves it, right? Ah! Oh! 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 That's what you get for teasing him. Let him go! Don't hurt him! Oh my god, Cheech! Oh no, Ziggy! Didn't you feed the dogs? Again, tofu. Cool. Ha! He missed. <laughs> Lucky I got away. Cookie's knocker's got a kung fu grip. Big boy. No! It's mine! Until I squeeze it out of you, then it's mine. Oh, mine! <laughs> the kid's gotta come home. Cookie's gone baby crazy. What happened? You teased the gator? You know me so well. What are you so worked up about? You don't want a baby, just don't have sex with Cookie. Yeah, you're right. But, uh... What is it? Nah, it's just we haven't, you know, done it in a couple of weeks, and I, uh... Ah, you got what the medical professionals call blue ball. <gasps> Let me tell you a little secret I learned in prison. Okay, stop talking. No, oh, that's only to get cigarettes. I'm talking about beating it like it owes you money. I can't do that in the house. Cook's like a bloodhound. She'll smell the baby better a mile away and confiscate it. It's like a seven cents. We all know what a six one is. Ew, who was that? 
It was Petey! I know your brand, mister. Oh, I once broke wind in Reno and she called to rag me out. So, she's got a nose for farts and man milk. You don't gotta yank it in the house. There's lots of other places. Bus shelters, department store change rooms, back pew to church. I get it! I'll figure it out. Good. In the meantime, I'll talk some sense into Cookie. You go find some place to have a nice little masturbate. <gasps> oh, don't look at me, lady. He's the one about to abuse himself like a circus monkey. <laughs> Cookie, look at his crap. Kids cost a fortune, and what do you get for it? Stinky diapers and a lot of back talk. I get that from you already. Besides, babies are wonderful. You can't beat that baby smell. Their little feet, all the sweet sounds they make. They do make cute little sounds. And that nice, warm feeling when they snuggle on you. Ooh, I love that snuggly feeling. It reminds me of my old soulmate, Rapey Joe. The way they gaze up at you, knowing that you're their entire universe, and they love you like no one has ever loved you before. Now I want a baby. Aren't you sterile? You mean senile. And yes, Dolores, I will have a donut. All right, I'm out. Looking for dogs is beneath me. Galak suckers. Not so fast. The dogs will wander back, but we need a new Siegfried. No, we don't. Who cares, Teresa? I pushed for this job. If I screw it up, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Yeah, gonna. I am not dealing with Ma saying, you see, Petey should have been the house sitter. F him. I'm right here! It's just an expression, Petey. Anyway, I need you both to get on board and help me find an alligator. Why would you need to find an alligator, Teresa? Uh, cause Cheech really took to Siggy and wants one for himself. I always pegged Cheech for an animal lover. Although on some level, I imagined that literally. Of course, alligators are tricky to find in Regina. You can ask my colleague about it when she returns home tomorrow. Tomorrow? <laughs> Her assignment was cut short. She can't wait to feel the leathery embrace of Siegfried again. And she'll be thrilled he'll have a chum for future play dates. Good luck in your search. All right, I'm back in. Aw, thanks, Gina. I don't want to miss everyone going ballistic when you screw this up. Cheech, how'd it go talking to Cook? Not good. <clears throat> how about you? Did you manage to take your hand out for a liquid lunch? <clears throat> no, and I'm dying here. Tell Cookie to lay off the dirty texts. I gotta go. I'm feeling lightheaded. <clears throat> Did you get my picture? Cause I'm sending you about 200 more. Cook, please, stop! <laughs> That's it! I can't take this no more! Regina Tourism! Let me tell you what I want to do to you, big boy. First, I'm gonna... Oh, my! All right, Jimbo, man up and do this. Ah! What the hell, Tobe? Not now! Oh, what kind of heartless world is this where a guy can't find a place to have a tender moment with himself? That'll do. Well, Tree, I guess I'm gonna tap you with my sap. Okay, God, I get it. It's a sin. Fucking lay off, will ya? All right, citizens, disperse. There's nothing to see here. Brian Adams' bleeding fingers. What are you doing up there? Trying to avoid sex with my wife? Get down, Jimmy. <laughs> Who? What? Uh, nothing. So what's all this about avoiding sex with Cookie? I don't want her getting pregnant. That's all you gotta know. I see. Well, why not get a vasectomy? 
How is converting to Jewism gonna help? No, that circumcision. A vasectomy is different. You want me to cut the whole thing off? Like a Ken doll? No, it's when your vast deference get clipped and clamped. Well, it's probably easier if I show you. Yeah, I'm good. I'm surprised you don't know about this. Did you step in something, Jimmy? Nope. And all I know about that stuff is it's the devil's work. No, it's not. And if you want to have worry-free relations with Cookie, this way is 100% effective. Are you sure you don't smell something ripe? For Canada! Where God does it ever stink! Oh, this'll drive Jimmy wild. God! My back is killing me. Careful, lady, that same outfit got me into this mess in the first place. What? You're so blessed. Blessed? That's cute. You got kids? I'm almost pregnant with my fourth. Whoopee. I'm almost gonna kill myself. But isn't it wonderful having that little miracle growing inside you? There's your miracle, lady. Is that you or me? I can't feel anything but my hemorrhoids burning like a ghost pepper butt plug. But you're both about to receive the most amazing gift. A child to hold and love and imprint all your failures on. Some freaking gift. I poop whenever I sneeze. All right, Jimmy. You can do this. One little snip and... <laughs> my boys. <laughs> Maybe I'll buy my balls a farewell drink. There's one. Oh, looks like a snappy little bastard. So how do we get it? Easy. We lower Gina down by her legs and she grabs it. I'm not going in there. But you're the smallest. You're the ugliest. If your face gets ripped off, no one will know the difference. Come here. Gina, stop! Stop it, you two! If we want to catch an alligator, we're going to need some bait. So, which of these lizards swallowed the diamond? The small one, Cheech. But keep your eye on the big one. Got it. He's the muscle. You fellas that look good on my feet. What? I take it back. Just like Cody Island. Leave the bottle. What are you doing here? Hey, Cook. I needed a drink. I was at the vasectomy clinic. You got a vasectomy? But Father O'Malley told us that's how the terrorists win. Relax. I didn't do it. Look. If it's between having another kid or having some doctor shove scissors into my nutsack... <laughs> what I mean is I love you, Cook. If you want a baby, I won't stand in your way. In fact, I'll lie on top of you. Hey, there's the chick who wants to shove a bowling ball out her hoo-ha. <sighs> yeah? Well, at least I don't poke my pants. Yeah, if she wanted to, she could shove two bowling balls out her... Stop helping, Jimmy. <laughs> It's a shame we gotta cut this cute little fellow open. I already told ya! There's no diamond! I faced death for that rock! It's real to me! Oh, they're back! Oh crap! They got a taste for lizard meat! Hurry, right, uh, toss in the gator! Never! Ow! Son of a bitch! We'll turn Petey's room into a nursery, he'll go in Cheech's room, and Cheech moves into the garage. Come on, have a heart. Make Petey move into the garage. Or, or the bus shelter down the street. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's what we all want. Look! <laughs> You'll never take my baby! Never take my baby! <gasps> Sit! That's better. Stay away from my kids, you bitches! They're females, right? You're taking care of them, and you don't even... Ah! Oh, it is on, you motherfucking dogs! Look at you, kids. Your mother had to get rabies shots in her guts because of you. And this is how you thank her? Don't worry about it. I'm just glad they're home. Teresa, I'm very cross with you. Rosa's house was left in an abysmal state. For some reason, the dogs won't come out from under the porch, and Siegfried is missing! What? We put that gator back. Yo, Cook, the kid's latching, but I'm not producing. Do I breastfeed on the left side or on the right? Cheech, give Siegfried back to me this instant. What's with your face? 
You get crap in your eyes or something? No, why do you ask? Want to sneak upstairs and see if we can flag down a stork? Huh? I was being cute. I meant let's go put a load of baby in you. We're right here. We can hear ya. <sighs> I think maybe I'm okay, Jimmy. I'm better off counting the two blessings I already got. There's three of us. Shut up, Petey. You sure? Yeah, baby. I know you came around to the idea. I hope you're not too disappointed. Yeah! All right! <laughs> yes! Yes! Ha-ha! <laughs> yeah!